All right, here's today's lesson, 4.1 multiplication patterns with decimals. So we have this problem, a thousand times 467 thousandths. Now remember, this number right here, 467 thousandths, this is less than one. Something less than one times a thousand, our answer should be less than a thousand. So we're gonna use patterns to figure this out. All right, so I kind of drew this little chart to show you the progression of what we're working with. So if I take one times 467 thousandths, well, that's the identity property, and I'm gonna get the exact same answer because any number times one is that number. Now, what happens if I add a power of 10? So one power of 10, 10 times 467 thousandths. And that means I'm literally gonna just move the decimal over one power of 10, because I'm making this bigger by one power of 10. So by moving that over, I now have four and 67 hundredths. I move the decimal over one spot. Well, there are two powers of 10. 10 times 10 is 100, so that's two powers of 10. So if I go along with this pattern, I'm gonna move the decimal over two places when it's times 100. So that gives me 46.7. And you can see the decimal was before the four. One power of 10, it's after the four. Two powers of 10, it's two places after. So let's see, our actual problem is 1,000 times 467 thousandths. So that's three powers of 10. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. Three powers of 10. Three powers of 10 means I'm gonna move this decimal three places. And that gives me 467. And you can see now the decimal's after the seven. And remember with whole numbers, we don't need to put the decimal here because it's 467 and nothing. So when it comes to whole numbers, we just leave it like that, 467. So you can see the decimal was before the four, after the four, two spaces after the four, and then finally our problem of 1,000 times 467 thousandths leaves us with 467. Now hold on, we're gonna do one more problem. Okay, so here's our second problem. One hundredth times 38.4. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our patterns again. We're gonna say, well, one times 38.4, nothing happens to the decimal. It stays in its place. Now here, this is smaller than one. That's one one hundredth or one over a hundred, right? One one hundredth. So keep that in mind, because first thing I'm gonna do is say, well, what if I take 0 0.1 times 38.4? That means one-tenth. There's one-tenth of a power. So I'm gonna move my decimal space one to the left. And I got 30, I'm sorry, 3.84. One-tenth of a power means it's gonna move over, so my answer is gonna get smaller. So here we go. What about a hundredth? 0 0.01 times 38.4. This is one hundredth, one over a hundred. So that's two powers of 10 that it's being reduced by. And when it's being reduced by 10, two powers of 10, I'm gonna move my decimal two times over to the left. and I got 384 thousandths. So one hundredth of 38.4 is 384 thousandths. All patterns. Have a good night.